Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. And what I want to do is I want to give you a sense of what HF sounds like. Because some of us still uh, want to get into HF, but kind of don't know where to start. Or even, how does it sound? So this is the sound of HF. Part of it. Some noise. Um, now, let's uh, let's go move around a little bit in the band here and see if we can pick up anybody. Right now, I'm using a quarter wave ground plane antenna. moment it's fading in and out. Now quarter wave ground plane antenna is really easy to make. It's probably a very uh, affordable antenna in that you need um, four wires, really just two, but four wires this is the 20 meter band, so it's about 17 feet long wires. One of the great things about HF is that you, uh, you you'll get you'll be able to listen to very interesting people with different views and outlooks. Let's see what else is in here. Something was going on there. Wait a minute, we passed it. The Maritime Mobile Net. Now one thing about HF that I learned was, is my antenna working? Is everything in its proper um, function? And one way to see if your radio is transmitting and sounds okay is go to a net. And these are usually people uh, talking to other people that uh, represents a group of some type. Think of it as a Facebook group um, that's temporarily on the air. It's called a net. And uh, uh, sometimes you can talk to people in that net. You can just, uh, you have to learn a little bit of a formality in the way they are introducing themselves. But if you get familiarized with some of these nets, uh, people will respond to you and tell you how your signal is. And the Maritime uh, mobile net right now is not available. That's 14.3 and 20 meters. And actually, they're in transition right now. It's almost uh, three o'clock. Oh, here's something else. That's another thing too. You want to go slow, not too fast, or else you might pass them. Right now, the band's conditions are not that great to give you a sense of what the sound is and the audio audio quality. Another thing also is that you don't need a ham radio license to listen. You need it if you're going to transmit. And there are three different licenses that you can earn. And bought the TL922 amplifier in 1986. 
And I've been uh, keeping them going all these years. I had to do to rebuild the power supply here on the 931 at one time and uh, made several modifications to the uh, TL 922. But uh, they will still work really well, serve me well. Well, Bob, I'll go ahead and say 7 3 there to you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. By the way, I worked for Texas Instruments here in Dallas for 33 wow. years. But I retired. Back. I took early retirement. I retired back in 2000, so I've been retired for 24 years now. And uh, really do enjoy it. I've been active all my life with my, uh, with my call here. It's the original call, by the way. I was originally licensed as KN5 GKC as an office back in uh, December of 1960. Mm. But uh, kept, kept it all current and uh, even got on the air occasionally when I was still working. But boy, it sure is nice to, uh, to have it now since I've been retired for so many years. And, just really enjoy it. We're out here in a nice location in Levon where it's quiet, the power lines are all on the ground, and uh, couldn't ask for anything better. Well, Bob, I'll say 7-3 there to you. Thank you very much for the call. Nice to talk to somebody out, out west there. I'm sure you probably know, uh, I'm actually from, I graduated from high school in Bloomfield, which is up about 15 miles from Farmington. That's cool, isn't it? Get to learn about somebody's history. And the audio is not that bad. It's unfortunate you can't hear the other person. One thing that is important is to have headphones. I don't have headphones right now on this video because I want you to hear the audio. Looks like there was another person there. Let's keep going down. FT-857D. It's a 13-year-old radio. Some people think it's a great all-in-one radio. Some people don't like all-in-one radios, meaning VHF, UHF, and HF. Let's keep moving. A very important thing about Listening about listening or transmitting an HF is the antenna. You don't have a great antenna, you're not going to do very well. And you don't need to buy $300 antennas. The, the quarter wave ground plane antenna that I have probably cost me less than $5 to make. And you can probably get it even less expensive if you if you have some of the parts laying around Which is great. 
it's so interesting that some people think that you need to speak in English utilizing the handbands. You don't. All right, let's keep going. Fourteen dot three, the Maritime Mobile Net. But I can't hear anybody. They were in Colorado, I think, a few hours ago. I'm not sure where they're at now. And let's keep going up. on the air, people go to a park, a specific park, and then they try to what they call activate, uh, meaning they talk to other people somewhere in the U.S. One other thing about listening to HF is that you can start understand a little bit about the you know the phonetics and also the the process the procedure and talking to each other but one of the things that I remember starting off in HF was the phonetics very very challenging at first and the only way you're going to get better is by practicing sometimes you even forget like what P stands for, right? Um, or K, you know, like Kilo, Kilo November 6, Bravo, Sierra, Tango, right? Um, sometimes you, you forget what the letter, the letter Z is in the, in enunciating it, you know, Zulu, or, you know, um, Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. And that was one of the things that really made me a little bit uh, shy uh, going on the radio because it was really challenging to listen to. But now that uh, POTA has been more um, available, you can hear people speak their, their, their call sign, their phonetically. Kilo Delta 9. KD9. And again, having headphones is probably going to be easier. And you got to get used to the noise. Oh, that's another thing too. Like I said, FTA 570, much older technology from the 90s. Um, 891 is a newer radio, better uh, filters to hear people but if this is part this can easily when you find one of these very inexpensive you can easily do HF with this just keep going sometimes when there's not much noise in the atmosphere and you can hear very clearly the other person as if they were next door. One other thing too, don't get frustrated by like, oh, I can't find it, you know. Because sometimes you go really fast 
and we hear something and sometimes we can't find it um, sometimes when you have a, a newer radio we can see the uh, the waveform the, the signal right and uh, here there is no there is no waveform here to follow it's older technology Well, at least you get a sense. That would bother me. You see that? You hear that? It's like, is it right or left? Go right and then go left. And then eventually you'll find it. And there you go. That should give you a sense of what HF sounds like. Don't get frustrated. Try your best. Do your antennas. See, you know, and, and try. Learn the phonetics of the letters and you'll do great. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie's Oscar.